Hey, Blockchain Visionaries, I'm George Levy. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about NFTs, that is non-fungible tokens. And I'm gonna talk specifically about where are your NFTs. You see, many people have NFTs. You may have bought them, you may have received them, you may have acquired an NFT somehow. But do you know where those NFTs are? And furthermore, do you even know how to check online to see if those NFTs are exactly where they say that they are? It's actually quite easy. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Let's do it. Get ready to change the world. One blockchain at a time with George Levy, your single source of truth for blockchain, Bitcoin, and cryptocurrency. To talk about NFTs, I want to drill down specifically on a specific type of NFT so I can give you a concrete example. And to do that, I'm actually going to talk about CryptoKitties because I collect CryptoKitties. I love them. And, uh, and I can actually use them as an example to show you how these NFTs work. An NFT is a non-fungible token that is a token that's unique and there's only one of them and I collect CryptoKitties. Therefore, all these kitties that you see here are actually unique kitties that I own. I have those. Now, the interesting thing about that is that I have those kitties, if you can see they're under the George Levy uh, address at CryptoKitties.co. Um, but if I go to OpenSea and you look at my account, you will see that I also list the same CryptoKitties here. I have the opportunity to sell these CryptoKitties if I want. Why? Because I own those tokens. Now, how can they be at CryptoKitties and at the same time be at OpenSea? And the reason is that the common thread between this CryptoKitties account and this specific OpenSea is that, as you can see, it is connected to a wallet, MetaMask. My kitties are currently recorded inside my MetaMask wallet. So let's go there right now. If I go to my MetaMask and I pop it open, what you will find is that you will see an Ethereum MetaMask that I have and uh, it's connected right now to Ethereum mainnet. And this is the MetaMask that I use to actually be able to mint new NFTs whenever I want to buy an NFT. I use MetaMask. In fact, I talk about it in my course, uh, NFT Fundamentals. I talk about exactly how you can do all this. But you're looking inside my MetaMask wallet. And what you'll find is that this wallet actually has right now some Ether that I can use for minting NFTs. It's got some USDC, which is actually a stable coin worth $1 each. And then you see here there are these tokens called 11CK. That's because there's 11 CryptoKitty tokens in here. Let's look inside them and what you'll find is that if I go here and I view it on the Etherscan, you'll find the full records for how I acquired all those 11 CryptoKitties. Now what you will find is that some of them were a bid that I actually purchased. Some of them I gave birth to. That's because I sired them, being able to have my CryptoKitties keep birth. And what you'll find is that there's going to be 11 here. But in fact, there's 12 because one of them says out. That is actually a crypto kitty that I gave as a gift to my daughter. Now, key things why I'm telling you all this. It's because my crypto kitties don't really live in my wallet either. My wallet has records of all these crypto kitties, which are recorded as transactions on the Ethereum blockchain. So what you see right now is that if I were to go to any of these, so for example, let's go back to here and let's look at Truthseeker. So Truthseeker, I find that the token for Truthseeker is 1955350. And if I go specifically on the top and I go, there's a type of visualization which is actually CryptoKitties token tracker. If I go to the token tracker, I can look up that specific token for uh, Truthseeker, which is the kitty I told you about. And if I pop it open, you'll find that here's a transaction where I gave birth to Truthseeker. And when I pop it open, there's Truthseeker right there. You see, that's my crypto kitty truth seeker. So you see, that crypto kitty lives on the Ethereum blockchain as this transaction that says that I own that crypto kitty. And because of that, my wallet reports that I have that crypto kitty because that specific crypto kitty is recorded on a transaction on the Ethereum blockchain as being assigned to my wallet. You see? I have that crypto kitty because I have the, the private keys to be able to, if I want to sell, gift that crypto kitty, I can do that because I have the private keys associated to that specific transaction. Now I want to take you to something really interesting. Here you will find that I have a video which I've published, which is actually give a crypto kitty NFT as a gift. And what you'll find specifically is that in this crypto kitty video that I created, I actually gave Earthy, which is a crypto kitty I had, to my daughter. And in that video, I tell you exactly how I gave that crypto kitty as a gift. Because much like a physical item, I can take a physical item and give it as a gift. I was able to create a virtual cat, a crypto kitty, and give it as a gift to my daughter. So in that specific video, 
if you go through it, I actually specifically gift. take you to None. the process of me gifting that one crypto kitty to my daughter. Now, if I go to the transactions that I showed you, record of all of them, you'll notice that there's an out. That out corresponds to token ID 1945785, which was here, right here, which is actually the crypto kitty that I gave birth to. Actually, I sired with my crypto kitties, and then I gave it as a gift to my daughter. And all of this, all of this is made possible because crypto kitties are actually non fungible tokens that are recorded on the Ethereum blockchain. That's how I can have ownership of it and sell it to someone else. So in a nutshell, everything that I've been telling you about is that when you look at my collection of crypto kitties and you see all the crypto kitties that I have, whether you're looking at them inside CryptoKitties.co or whether you're looking at it inside OpenSea, the kitties are not really there. The kitties are actually recorded as transactions on the Ethereum blockchain. And because I have a wallet that actually has the record of those transactions and the private keys associated for those specific crypto kitties, I can actually sell the crypto kitties or even gift them away. Hope you find this video valuable. I'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm George Levy. We're changing the world one blockchain at a time. See you next time.